Okay, here's an example of a first order linear differential equation. X squared y prime plus xy equals 3x. So let's recall for a minute the general solution to such a differential equation. So if we have y prime plus a of xy equals b of x, then we get y is 1 over alpha of x times the quantity, the antiderivative of alpha x bx dx plus a constant of integration, where alpha x is the exponential of the antiderivative of a of x. So, notice that this differential equation that's given is not quite in this form because we really need a coefficient of 1 in front of y prime, but instead we have a coefficient of x squared. So let's see what we can do to get it in that form. So we can take this entire differential equation and multiply it by 1 over x squared. And so that's going to give us y prime plus 1 over x y equals 3 over x. Okay, great, and so now we can identify this function, one over x, is playing the role of a of x in our general form up, the, up here, and this function down here, three over x, is playing the role of b of x in our general form up here. So the first thing we need to do is calculate this function alpha of x. So we have alpha of x equals the exponential of the antiderivative of a of x, so that's 1 over x dx, so that gives us the exponential of the natural log of x, so that's just x. Okay, good. So now that we have this function alpha of x, we can plug it into our solution, which we derived in the previous video, and we'll see that our solution, y equals 1 over x, times the quantity, the antiderivative of, so we have alpha of x times b of x, so that's just going to be 3 dx plus a constant of integration. So that gives us 1 over x times 3x plus a constant. In other words, our final solution is 3 plus some constant over x. Now if we had an initial condition, we could solve for that constant, but here we're just finding a general solution.